And then I, it got me into thinking, can ever Java replace Python for AI or even give a strong competition? And the answer at this point is Today I want to discuss something which is going in my mind from last few weeks on and off because from last few weeks I'm exploring AI, machine learning, uh, not the API stuff, not the Spring API. I want to go there, but I thought, hey, before going into Spring AI, let me just understand the basics of machine learning. I did that a few years ago and then uh, after that I explored different technologies and now I want to refresh my knowledge. So I got some books, I started exploring AI, uh, and then everywhere I was saying Python. And that makes sense, right? Most of the libraries are built in Python. And even if you want to learn a language for AI, the easiest language is Python. And then I thought, hey, you know, I know Java. I mean, of course I know Python as well. I love different languages. I have explored uh, multiple languages in the last 10 years. And uh, Java just got stick to me because I've worked on Java for a long time. And then I was thinking, hey, can we just use Java to do everything which Python is doing for this particular model or for this particular code. And then I was able to do certain things here, there, uh, but a lot of issues, not ecosystem was not strong. But then if you look at the language, like Java as a language, it's one of the best language in the market, right? I mean, yeah, that's debatable. But when you look at the enterprise market, most of the huge applications are built using Java. And I was thinking, okay, so I know Java, can I just do that? And I was, it was a bit tricky for me as well and took a lot of time to do that. And then I, it got me into thinking, can ever Java replace Python for AI or even give a strong competition? And the answer at this point is strongly no. I mean, think about Python's language. It's one of the easiest language to go for. Next, the ecosystem. I mean, you want to do some certain things, you have library available for that. You just have to know which library to use where. And that's what I got to know by reading multiple books, uh, trying out different examples. And it was fun, you know, everything is there. Uh, and if you get stuck somewhere, there's a huge community support. Just go to Google and search for it and you will find thousands of answers for one particular problem. And also with this world of AI, uh, you can ask the question to ChatGPT or Gemini and they were able to solve those issues. I was quite happy. And then uh, on the other hand, if you look at Java ecosystem, yeah, there are certain libraries available, but they are not up to the mark yet. So at this point, there's no competition for Python, right? Even JavaScript is there, but Python is the king in AI. But if you look at the language as Java, there are multiple things which is which makes Java a strong language. First, a strongly typed language. Some people hate it, but you have to understand if you want to build a software which will be maintainable and which behaves the way it is, Java is amazing at that point. Next, scalable. Java applications are scalable, they are maintainable. Yes, they are verbose, but it makes sense. You can actually read the Java code and that's what makes Java powerful. Right? And also, Java is faster in that terms when you talk about runtime. And if you talk about the AI world, a single query takes a lot of memory, lots of computing power at this point. And if you can replace that with a faster language, uh, it will be better for the environment as well. Right? Okay, that's huge now. The point is, Java has an upper hand compared to Python in terms of all those things. But Python, on the other hand, has the advantage of ecosystem, uh, the community support and all those stuff. And Java also coming up with these amazing projects. We got uh, Babylon on the way, uh, Valhalla on the way, Panama on the way. A lot of new updates are coming in Java ecosystem. And once they are there with the native running, uh, they will run faster and they will support AI in a better way. So what is missing? So at this point, the missing point is the ecosystem. And as time goes, the ecosystem will change. You know why? Because most of the application, the AI application which we are using now, they are independent applications. Example, you got ChatGPT, Gemini. They're not basically dependent on some other software, or we don't, we don't, we are not integrating them. Yes, we have some uh, IDE help. For example, let's say if you, I'm using GitHub, GitHub Copilot inside the IntelliJ IDEA, so that's an integration. And if you look at the integration now. Most of the companies are using Java, as I mentioned before, and now, or maybe .NET, or maybe some other languages, and now when they want to use, or when they want to integrate AI solutions, which language they will choose? Of course, they, can, they will choose Python for the AI, and then the application built on Java, and there should be a communication, maybe with the help of REST API, maybe with the help of uh, gRPC, or maybe with the help of 
JNI. So using JNI, basically you can call the Python methods or Python stuff from Java with the help of C, C++. Uh, I've done that way back uh, when I was in my college. JNI was a fun stuff. But the point, the point is, all this thing will create some latency. And if you really want to integrate your AI solutions into existing applications, you have to think about something else. That means you have to build your AI solutions in Java or in the language which you have, you have used to build the enterprise solution. And at that point, we need to boost this ecosystem. And that's a plan I had from a long time. Maybe I was having a discussion with my friend uh, 2022, November. That's almost two years now. And we were discussing, can we just boost the Java ecosystem in AI? And since I have a good audience for Java, I can boost that. But unfortunately, I was busy with other stuff, working on different, th different things. I was not able to do that. But now I'm thinking, can I do that? And let me know in the comments. This, this is all about discussion, okay? So I want your feedback in the comments. What do you think? Because in, even I'm confused. Should we, should we stick to Python and find a way to create all the solutions in Python and then connect with, with Java or some other languages as an integration? Or should we really move away from Python and explore this AI solutions in different languages? Uh, but at this point, yes, Java, Python is a king. But I think Java will overtake it in a few years. Uh, I want to explore, right? There are different libraries available. Uh, uh, we heard about Langchain. There's also Lang4j uh, for Java. And uh, there are multiple names I heard in the last few days. I was exploring and stuff. Uh, it was cool. So let me know your thoughts. Which language do you think? In fact, JavaScript in between came with uh, TensorFlow.js because earlier it was only TensorFlow for Python. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video for a discussion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and we'll, we can come to a conclusion what, can, what we can do in the future. So yeah, stay tuned. See you in the upcoming videos. Bye-bye.